Back for round three with my boy Davis. Last episode of Game Boy Week. That was my best air horn. I'm really bad at. It was. A, it was like an air horn that was. It was like the Star Wars disco shut, remix shut air horn. Shut up! I'm. I'm doing. <laughs> shut up. You're, I'm never coming back. We're at secret course number six. No, you will. I know you will. That's you your course number six. Me. Course number six. Course number six. The secret the course. Secret. <laughs> Super Mario Land 3, Super Mario Land Course 6, The Secret. World. Yeah. So this is something. There's no oh, enemies sweet. in this level. It's, yeah, but you can ground pound and, 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 and crabs come up. And you can kind of see them. This is a filthy amount of money for what's happening. Yeah. Secrets, man. There's another. Those things look real scary underneath the sand. Like they're going to be some kind of. This weird... is just like a reward. Like, look, dude. Congrats. You found it. Yeah, you did it. Don't even worry about Good it. Good job. Relax. Like, they're scared of you because yeah. you know you're killing them and taking. It's like what they say when you're on like safari. No, you. Yes! Oh my God, hubris. Look at that. It's fine. Like the Citizen Kane of bonus levels. <laughs> I love that goddamn movie. Uh, 69. Some other coins I got. Oh, I thought you just said a dirty thing for no reason. Um, no. <laughs> Clearly, you haven't seen my channel. I am. Far more than that. I know, but I mean, normally you don't just chill and then some dude's like, 69. <laughs> Yo, dude. 69. Dude, check this out. 69. That's what you, like, actually used to do when you were 10 and you were like. Oh, just, when you didn't know how to make, like, you were good just trying, jokes. You were just trying them out, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just trying them out, seeing what the deal is. Uh, but now, yeah, we can move on to. Uh, Let's get the fluff out of here. Yeah, we can move on to uh, Mount Teapot. Rice Beach is played out. Rice Beach is boring, it's bland. Um, how do I get out of the However, this next part of Japanese cuisine that's nope. turned into a pirate nope. isle. Nope. How do I get out of... I think just there down. There Oh, yeah. Okay. Bum, 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 so, Mount Teapot. Uh, the lid of Mount Teapot floats up and down above the top of it, but then once you beat the don't, last... Don't tell him. What are you doing? What let's, do you mean? Let's let all what the fun stuff... Let him see what happens, man. Oh, my man. God. Okay. So, in Japan, though, it's great because... This place is called Mount Pot. There's a Zapdos right there I just killed. Zapdos, Kingdra. Morsi. Kingdra passing through. Um, but let's see. Let's see what the, Here real, the, little, uh, the like real deal is with us. Water mines. So that that seahorse thing. What? Did I just download the link to this? Okay. Okay, so what this music is, this is just the, any music that's water-based has this music. Is it? Oh, God. Wispy water music. So these things are called pinwheels in English. In Japanese they're called noko. I don't know why they're called noko. But they uh, they are somehow related probably to the uh, like like seahorses from Mario Land because they look really similar to them. Oh yeah. I but, need to get. But they're called noko. Oh my god look at them. Like ballers. I need to get the little fire helmet so I can oh Yes, there's so much to do in this level, this or the nothing. Jet. Yeah, this, as you can see when I jump, this, uh... you can probably speed run this game with this. Yeah, some of it. Ooh. Okay. So actually, the only two enemies in this level actually are the uh, watches and the pinwheels. Not sure why these are called watches, but they're a bird, uh, and they are called watches. Um, oh, maybe. They're, I like, think there's something up there that I need to get. Um, but first... Oh, here we go. M maybe they're like the minions of Bobo, who's a boss from later. Fr who's on the boat. It's like a big bird. But they seem like maybe they have something to do with the pirates. Maybe they're like the, pi the parrots of the Black Sugar Gang. Up top! I do not want to stay up here, though. I think there's more to explode. I love this, like, ancient temple water music. This is... This is... The remember how we said the music changed when I went back when it flooded and yeah. that's why I think it's all music. Oh, here we go. He looks so unhappy. He's like, "You got me. What? Fine, here, take it. Fine." Weren't you saying though that like in Mario, all of the things, or at least Mario Land, they have like faces before, or there was something we found that had faces that I didn't know had faces before. Oh, uh, what? 
I might just be talking from I don't know. Well, what we were saying was we, we discovered that it was like the like the the bricks. I think this also in a game theory episode, but it was like the bricks and stuff that he's breaking are like actually the townspeople or something. Some weird messed up shiz. Yeah. All right. Some of the sounds are from Metroid. I think these mines are one of the sounds. That actually sounds like... It's supposed to be the Morph Ball sound, I think. Are you sure it's not the Morph Ball bomb sound? It could be, but I, I think it's the Morph Ball sound for when you turn into the Morph Ball. Oh, crap. Just, just, just go by. Get out of here. Get out of here. Go. He can't, he can't, his face kind of looks like Ducky from Land Before Time. Yeah, he also looks like he's surprised that he's going to turn into a pinwheel every time, which, like, like get oh over God! it. Like, get over it, dude. Get like, over you, it. You know what you're going to do. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be surprised. Don't act surprised. There we go. Oh, you oh. got out of there. Yeah, there it is. You can get out of there. What? There, there, I'm supposed Good. to be able to get up there. What the hell is happening? Okay, maybe you just are a little bit too short. I might just be terrible at this game is what I'm learning. <laughs> How do I get... Do I have to blow you up? Is that what I'm... Am I about to commit some murder? Can you throw them? No. Or are no. they just instant death? I could... When they're when I'm out of... When I'm out of water, I can. Um... Do those things blow up the blocks? Oh. That's how you gotta do it. Can you move those? Uh, I cannot. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Just like, uh, underwater levels are the worst, sorry. It's just, they're never good. They're never the like, but you're never like, oh, good, thank goodness that was a water level. I couldn't have enjoyed this otherwise. Well, because they're like, in a game that's about mobility and, and like jumping and all these other things, they just hamper that. You can move wherever you want, which makes it less exciting. Right. And um, I might have, I don't know if I, I feel like there's something else up up in this place, but whatever. Up in this place. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Did I miss something in this level? Did you miss something? Let me tell you right now. It doesn't look like it. Okay. I might just, because it had like this open space up top, I thought I might be able to fly somewhere. Who cares? Whatever. Woo! On to level First eight. First level down. <clears throat> something to note, the levels keep their numbers through the worlds. Not okay, the I think this is a treasure here too. I think that's what they're unsubtly telling me. Number eight. Isn't that totally a Zapdos or is it just me? It, I mean, it looks kind of like a Zapdos. That's the watcher. That's the watch. What? So the, the, that is the watch. Those birds are called watches. And then there's the Yodora again. Yodora. I don't know how to say it. Eldorado? The road to Eldorado. Um, and then there's the pecans that are going to be in this level later. They're the pelicans that are called pecans for some reason. Probably some kind of English thing again, if I had to guess. Oh, what? Luckily, that. that was there. I thought you could just jazz Jump. through them. Okay. Let's get these. There we go. Just gonna go this way because it seems faster. I thought it was faster. I was wrong. Against the current. And apparently, just touching him was able to kill him. Get the dragon's breath. Solid. <coughs> Let's kill some fools. I love the like dynamics of that flame. And then it like it like charges up and heats down. I don't know. It's great stuff. Best game ever made ever is what I say about every game I play on here. On Game Boy. Which is. They're all... I'm interested to yes. know if you have any more Hudson Hawks in your up your belt. Like, is there any other like weird games that you played a lot? I, I gotta look. I gotta like re go through and be like, oh my god, I remember everything about this game, kind of thing. Well, I don't remember everything about Hudson Hawk. I had to like relearn it. I just I played it a lot because it was a one of those games that I had. And I didn't realize it was a terrible game as a kid because you don't like you don't know anything. I'm sad because as a as a kid I always used to just be like one of those guys who just buys like the games that are like the no brainers. You know what I mean? Oh no. Did you just drown that bird? Well I hit him and he like <laughs> fell upside down. But he wasn't like dead so I was like, I'll just kill him. Like I don't know if he's gonna he's like He's just like, it's cool, drown me. <laughs> <laughs> he like shot a bomb out of his beak like you have to know if he you're was gonna... tired, he just he was carrying it around. He needed to take a he rest. He looked like a dead fish, so I was... Just, he looked like know. a dead bird, is what he looked like. <laughs> well, he used one now. <laughs> <laughs> C 
crap. What? I don't want that. What's... Isn't this better for this? Can't you just, like, swim up and hit the, the helmet guys? He is dead. We can't... <laughs> we can't... We can't beat around the bush. You're no. just knocking those birds out and standing on their corpses to get... to float through. There's something. I'm missing something. Uh... It doesn't seem like there is. According to this... It had a... it had a little circle on it that has to mean something. There must be a hidden... What has it? What has a circle? Had a little... Oh, it's gonna blow up on me if I don't... Oh, there's a secret exit. Is that what it... Okay. It's right before... It's right... It's at the exit. Nope. And it takes you right to Sherbert Land. Or Sorbet Land. Will it not get... Will, do I have to rebeat the level to get the regular exit? Yeah. Alright, well, we're gonna skip that. You chose poorly. Oh. Oh yes, it's got it's got also my favorite, the super. This guy's like having a crisis. <laughs> it's like it's got one of those super subtle like, oh, don't fire lasers in that direction, because it's got the arrow pointing up. Yeah. Bing. Yes. Ba -da -ba -ba -da. We made it out, guys. We made it alive. All right. We did it. Let's do one more. Let's do beep beep. All right, guys. We're doing one more level. Let's do one more. Episode. Course number nine. The waterfall level. Oh my god. Not that level. Is that a real thing? I don't know. I'm just trying to get everyone hyped for this level that's coming up. So I'm like, oh no, not the waterfall level. Oh god. Can you imagine if this mountain was real and how crazy that would be? This is great music, God. Yeah, it's so mysterious. Where do you get... Everyone, like, Gerard always knows where to get... Where do you get gaming music? I don't I don't know anything, man. Where do you get it? Yeah, like, where where do you find, like... Where would I just get this soundtrack? Like, is someone, like... There's a lot... I mean, some of them are available... Spawn coded this... Some of them are available commercially. Other ones, there's, like, video game music archive. There's, like, all kinds of places that have it. Um, sometimes you just find it. Sometimes you just gotta, like, get in the, like, black market of... Video game music. <laughs> the underground. I like OC Remix and stuff because you get like the remixes and they're like free and they're like f free use and all this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But to get the actual songs, I don't know. A lot of them like some of my most treasured possessions are like s soundtrack CDs that came with like special editions and stuff like that. Or yeah. sometimes I'll go. Like one time I went to like. Get like that. a Japanese secondhand store in Little Tokyo, and they had like this Pokemon like like CD that had all these weird like Pokemon songs on it. Yeah, and sometimes yeah, you just find like video game soundtracks and stuff like that in at those places. Yeah, like the wackiest of places. And some of them are just available. Like a lot of the Nintendo ones aren't, but like you can just go go on iTunes and just like grab like Final Fantasy. Stuff. Yeah, but unlike for these games, where would you even find them these days? That's what I'm saying. It's like something like video game music archive or like something Shoot. like that. You can like find that stuff. Or there's like little forums that have like memberships. They don't cost anything, but you got to be a member and, you know, they'll have them. And sometimes you can find them on those like torrent, like exclusive torrent groups. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. But I, I, I don't like it when people do things like that that are illegal so like maybe until you find a way to pay for it that's a good way to do it that's how yeah like if you can't i don't know if you can't pay for it that's when i will if if there's not a legit way for me to get it and enjoy it then you'll then you'll be like well there's no other way like if my choice is between like stealing it like for example mother three right i'm not gonna pay for the cartridge uh so i will steal the rom because it's not available in english any other way right and that's that's how I'll and then you know if it ever comes out in English I'll buy it immediately. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Why why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I do that? Okay, I think uh, there's a something. I love this music. There's I know there's something here. God, it's just killing me. Secret door hidden behind a cracked block. Is it just is it just that? <clears throat> 
Is that what it is? Just straight up here? Yes, that's what, okay. What is this? What level are we on? Nine, right? Dude. Thank you for helping me figure that out. I knew there was something there. This is the pirate's treasure. There's another one that has a hundred coins in it. Dude. Double level. Super coin and a, and a, and a thing. Oh my god. Amazing. Ugh. Yes. The harp. The harp. Guys. So great. Yeah. Great. Uh, there's gonna be a new enemy at, near the end of this game called... Uh, near the end of this level called the Kantako. The Kantako. The Which... Just reminds me, as somebody who lives in America, I don't know how this is in other countries, but the Kentucky Fried Chicken Taco Bell mixed restaurants. Yeah, that's what tacos. Like. I just want to point out, when I was a kid and there was no internet, like finding this secret is was one of those like you could like get status on the playground with like, this kind of stuff. You're like, dude, do it, and like, no way, that that sounds made up, because like. As I, if I recall correctly, half of the things that I heard from people on school were made. There's like famous made up things. Kids, just, that kids didn't exist. love to lie. Kids are terrible because they just lie to to seem cool. Yeah. <laughs> My dad works for Nintendo, and you can't play it yet, but he has a Nintendo 128. Yeah, and so finding something like that, and finding all these things without being able to look at a wiki, is like so it was so rewarding. It's nutty, so crazy. Nutty. Yeah. Later, man. God damn! Look at that. <clears throat> I also that they, they like alphabetized them, but just stopped at O. Like there was yeah, just to give you some semblance of order. Six, six, six. That's... Mark of the beast. Perfect place to end, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Mr. Davis from the Warp Zone, for coming. Check out Davis's channel at YouTube.com/slash The Warp Zone. Yeah, or on Twitter at Warps on Tweets, or my personal at Team Davis. Team Davis, that's the one you want to follow, you guys. That's where you get all the the photo bombs of great nerd statues. The the is <laughs> <laughs> a lot of statues, you guys. Oh yeah. Um, um but yeah, thanks for coming, and uh, we will definitely finish this sooner rather than later. Uh, maybe like way sooner than later. I I would love to. I. This, oh man yeah I hear you it's great I hear you I see you very well Avatar James Cameron anyway that's it for this week uh, Mega Man and Mother this weekend so stay tuned later man later